Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, so I'm out and about in London, look. It's the River Thames. I'm being a tourist. I was gonna do this bit walking, but I don't wanna make you feel sick, so I'm gonna sit here on this bench next to a red phone box. How very London. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be trying something new. I'm gonna be going into a sensory deprivation tank for three hours, which I don't think is a sentence I ever thought I would say, but here we are. It's called Floatworks. It's in that building behind me, which looks like it was built in freaking Minecraft. So I've got no idea how I'm gonna find it. All I know is I'm gonna be floating in a salty bath for about three hours. I've gotta be naked. So I'll film as much as I can from the waist up. We're off. I'm going to Vauxhall. It's so windy. My quiff is becoming extra quiffy. Pigeon Fest 2020. Look how cool this goose looks. Goals. I think that's his friend, but they've had an argument. I'm about 10 minutes late, but I found it. That is going to be me. Yee. They told me to take my shoes off. Sadly, no one complimented my socks. Okay, I'm in flow room two. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Are you having an actual laugh? It looks like some kind of giant toilet mixed with a spacecraft. They got me some house plants for ultimate relaxation. I should just take one of those in there with me. I'm in the bathroom. I, I was gonna film like the entrance and stuff, but there were loads of people in the lobby and I didn't want to be annoying. And they're all quite zen after their float, so I didn't want to be like, hey guys, I'm here to film a video. So I thought I'd wait till they'd shown me in, you know, have a bit of politeness, listen to what's going on. So this is my flotation pod. You ready for this? No. Are you kidding? I can't believe I'm gonna be naked in that. It's like an actual spaceship slash cryogenic chamber slash giant egg. I can't believe it's so big. You can fit like four people in there and have a great time. Uh, so, oh, there's lots of heat coming off it as well. So it's super salty in there, like so salty that I don't think you can even roll it over. It's gonna just be like full floating. The salt makes you float. Science fact. So my instructions were to get naked, have a shower in this anti shower over here, just to obviously degrime. They gave me some earplugs, so I can't hear anyone else, and hopefully no one else can hear me doing this. So I'm gonna try and keep my voice down a bit. And also some Vaseline to put on any cuts because the water is so salty, it will make it sting. And then get in, press a button, and some music will start for 10 minutes, and then you'll just descend into silent floating. Now, some people use this for meditation. Some people use it to concentrate on something that they're struggling with. Some people use it to hallucinate. Like if you've got no input at all, your brain just starts to do weird things. So I'm hoping I get a bit of that. Maybe I'll see some stuff. Maybe I'll go into the future. Maybe I'll meet God. I don't know. I'm glad I peed before I came because there's no toilet in here and that trickling noise. I just want to pee. Okay, I feel very exposed. Time for a shower. You don't need to see that bit. I mean, it's a shower. I'm hoping there's no reflections in the water. All right, I'm gonna hold the camera like this so you don't see anything, but I am getting it. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, it's so floaty. I didn't expect it to be this floaty. It's a good temperature. So I've got to close the lid. Right, here we go. Oh, oh God. Oh my God. Oh, this is so weird. I'm floating. This is actually really relaxing. I think it would be a bit scary when I turn off the light, is my only thought so far. But this blue light, man, I feel like all my troubles are melting away. When I have a bath, I can never fit in the bath because I'm so long as a person. So this is the first time I've fully like stretched out in a bath. The reflections of the water looks really cool on the ceiling. So my only experience of sensory deprivation was from that Simpsons episode, but I hope my ghost did it. <laughs> because the entire journey and doesn't realize. Woo! Sensory deprivation kicked ass! So I'm slightly worried that's gonna to happen to me because that would be very fair. I'm gonna press the button now so the guy's gonna start the music. So let's have a little bit of this relaxing music. I've only been in here for like four seconds, but I'm already like 500% more relaxed. I feel like a whale in a whale uterus. You see me floating, I'm floating. I can't bounce you in the pond, it's quite dangerous. I'm just gonna record my voice as I float. This is similar to how you feel in space. I just feel completely nervous. Right, I need to get into a zen mindset now. I'm not making a video. I'm just inside a tank. 
or I have an inside of time for what's my life. Right, shush, Phil, be quiet for 10 seconds. Seven. I just said seven, I'm trying to be quiet for 10 seconds. Right, shush. Okay, I'm gonna creep you out, I'm now very aware of my own blood, because I can hear my heartbeat is going boom, 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 boom. Isn't it crazy that the squishy thing in my head made me come to this float place? Update. I'm thinking of really abstract concepts, like what is on the inside of Jupiter? Is it an egg? What if there's another Earth out there and there's another film just floating in his own pod back into the void? Ooh. I hope this isn't haunted. It'd be a good place to haunt if you were a ghost. Not that I'm trying to tempt ghosts right now. Just float away. Well, now I'm thinking of Pennywise. Get out of my head, Pennywise. Sleep and I didn't know where I was. So I had like a one second scare. I don't even know if that's still recording. Oh, it is. I can't believe I'm probably falling asleep in this thing. I thought I'd be hyper alert, but it's so relaxing. Do you know when you close your eyes too tight and you see lots of shapes and colors dancing around like your eyes? I'm going a shape disco right now. Be gone, salt. I just woke up from asleep. I think. I Wrong. It's been about an hour, I would say, and I'm having micro sleeps every time I shut my eyes. I'm really enjoying this. I'm kind of sad that I've already used an hour because I just want to stay in this tank forever. There's no part of my body that has any stress. It's just everything is a blob. I am a blob. The world is a blob. Just letting myself fully blob into the world. I'm not having any thoughts about Harry Kart and zipping around Rainbow Road. But I'm in this pod, and someone else is driving. And it's very relaxing, but also kind of scary. <laughs> oh my god, I'll just take this time. I've been here for two hours. How's it been two hours? Honestly, it feels like about 20 minutes. So I must have had some good sleep. I didn't sleep that much last night, actually, because of the storm, so maybe I needed it. Maybe I just need to come to a pod if I can't sleep in the future. I don't even know, I'm going to come back and do this again. I'm having such a relaxing time. <sighs> back to my float. Okay, I had a full-on dream that I was trying to dig a hole with a spade. Well, <laughs> I could dream of anything in the universe than dreaming of digging a hole. I think my time's nearly up, but I just don't want to get out. It's like, do you know when your alarm goes off and you're like, ooh, five more minutes. With this, I'm like, five more hours, please. Okay, I'm not gonna think too hard about it for now. I'm gonna get out, have a shower, and then give you my thoughts. Let's try and fix that. The salt has actually been quite good for my hair. Do you know when you get kind of a sea salt texture? Well, I would recommend it for my look. I don't know what's in here, but I'm going in. Relaxation room. Ooh. I am digging this. So there's those different kinds of tea over here. I'm gonna go for this one. White tea, elderflower, and blueberry. Ooh. There are some angel oracle cards on the table. Okay, the first one is me. Cleanse and detoxify. That's what I just did. Look at me. I'm ascending to heaven after my float, and I'm working that hair. Maybe I should dye my hair blonde. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Got some tissues in case I wanna have a little cry after my experience. You know, tears of joy. I'm next to the salt lamp, and I feel like my body's had enough salt that it can take in a lifetime, and this is just like, I'm beaming more salt at you, Philly. I feel like I'm being annoying. There's signs everywhere that say, be quiet. So I'm going to respect the rules. Drink my tea, absorb the salt, and then I'll catch up with you properly in a minute. Right, I'm done. My time in the egg is over, I'm so sad. I was so relaxing. I don't know what I expected, but I'm so floppy now. Every part of me is just like, woo. I feel like even my skeleton is soft. I don't know what I was expecting. I didn't think I'd fall asleep so much. I was literally falling asleep every time I closed my eyes and having micro sleeps and micro dreams or thoughts that I thought were dreams. The weirdest one was about the shark with porcupine spines. I don't know what the F that was about. 
but I, I'm a convert, I wanna come back. I just wanna take that thing home with me. Pros, I feel so relaxed. There was enough room for my giant legs. The feeling of just not having my body touch any surface is indescribable. I feel like I was in space. I feel like I've been to space. So that is a definite pro. Uh, floating is fun. I thought I'd be bored, but my mind never got bored. I was just like, Lee, 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 here's some abstract thoughts about Jupiter. So that was a definite plus. And also I just feel so rejuvenated now. Like I've had a massage or something, but a stranger hasn't touched me, which is a bonus. Comms, the salt got in my eyes quite a bit, but I think that's because I kept sitting up to talk to you guys. So salt, if you don't like salt, maybe not this. Maybe the price, I mean, it's quite expensive for an hour of floating, but I do feel very relaxed. So for a treat, I think it was worth it if <laughs> you enjoyed being on this floaty experience with me. Please give me a thumbs up and I might try some other new things. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the little subscribe button. Check out my last video, which was a baking experience. <laughs> and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.